All right. <clears throat> I do need to change that bit on this that I keep uh, that I. <laughs> uh... Boy, 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 boy. I love that I remember things as soon as it happens later. Woohoo! Yahoo! Bum bum ba da dum. Ba da dum ba dum. Ba da dum da 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 I can do it later. Hello! Hello! Mood. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> it's just fun when you remember things and you're like, Oh yeah, that's a thing I can do. Cool Mario sounds. <laughs> uh... I don't know, it's just the sounds of the game, so... That's the only thing I can say to that one is that... Uh, it's just the game sounds. Because <clears throat> I've turned things up now, so everything is hopefully heard better. <clears throat> but yeah, hello, I'm doing good. Is everything stable? Yep, it is. Everything is. I was just looking at something else. Where is... Masquerade Duet? Oh, that thing. I'll deal with that <laughs> later. <laughs> That's a thing that I found out by accident. <clears throat> I have been doing some uh, stuff in this game with, like, gathering the birds and everything, no? You were saying woohoo ye? Uh, <clears throat> that's probably because I was waiting for my stream to work. <laughs> so I just make the random noises to be like, hopefully that makes it happen faster. But yeah. I am doing good, and I hope you guys are doing good too. Okay, thank you for telling me. Uh, is there something specific I need to be doing? I did all those. An off screen grin grinding. Yeah, just because I like to go look at. I have been actually, I guess I can show this. Uh, I've gotten characters all the way up to here to level 80. He's almost at level 80, these two I'm working on. That doesn't mean my cones are all fixed up, that's a mess of itself. Like, I'm technically halfway on that one. <clears throat> Cause, uh, by golly gee willikers, man. It would be... Something boring. Oh, thank you for the cookie. What is the mission even? Do you have something? Can I have a casual chat with you? Okay, so what am I supposed to do? You know what plans for today? Let me look at this freaking thing. Does that mean the way you only tend till you reach triple digits? Yeah, but I, I realized that a little like last week, and it was exciting because it was. I never thought I would see that number be a double digit, let alone close to a triple digit number. <clears throat> so thank you guys for sticking around and finding uh, all of this entertaining. Okay, so I have to help with making revenue, but you don't have any thanks from Go. So just plans. By the time you swing by next time, I might have been replaced. <laughs> You're slowly growing. Yep, we always slowly. That's how it, <clears throat> most channels are in the first place. They slowly grow. Uh, I've gotten all these events, so what? I need this. Complete merchant dollar to obtain complete merchant event delicacy pavilion to obtain general orders. Delicacy pavilion. You know, look up a clue to be here. Okay. So I am supposed to do something. I love that this is the. I'm casual chat. 
Uh, let me... So you put it there. I'm supposed to apparently do a mission. But you're sh confusing me. Okay, fine. Go. Navigate. There. <clears throat> That's so weird that it has it as two different quests. So I'm standing here being confused, being like, what do you want me to do? Okay, hello. Short. Are you related to her by any chance? I heard about you from <clears throat> Miss Secretary of the Merchant Guild. The guild plans to use the RM Alley dock to ship goods to other delves. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, Miss Secretary told me that she was hoping Delicacy Pavilion could start making takeouts, things like business, meals, and travel lunch boxes. Customers who don't have time to eat out would have the option to have the food delivered to them. Sounds perfect to me. I'd love a good takeout meal from Delicacy Pavilion. Thank you. Starting the takeout business is indeed on my top priority list. It's just, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. You see, Delicacy... Cause the Pavilion has been around for a while, but when people talk about food in our family, they think of Spices Supreme. For sure, this whole takeout business. You need a better reputation. Ever thought about using Boss? She can't good reviews. Need a better reputation. Exactly. I can't simply jump in only to find people who are not even interested. Seeing how Young Chui expands her menu, I plan to hunt a few abominations and see what I can do with them. What is that sentence? I don't think abominations should be used as food ingredients. Think outside the box. Shame that I'm not much of a fighter myself. Would you do me a favor and bring me a few abominations? I heard the Cloud Knights intercept a bunch of wolves that the Unshackled was smuggled around. <clears throat> Smuggling around would be a pity if they just got disposed of. If you get me some, I'll try to come up with some new menu items. You should be able to find the wolves at Stargazer Navilia. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> Joy. Why? That is such a weird thing to name things. Like, why would you name things like that? Is this a... the compass resets, it will track those shackles. Okay. Uh, me. Do. This switch is it just a one by one? Nope, it's two by two. These puzzles are way too easy. <clears throat> the freight star skip slowly moves into the jetty. Hey, right. <clears throat> oh, it's just Delivered. Oh, well, ain't that nice. <clears throat> Why are they in there? That seems like a very random thing to do. Like, why would you do that? Like, these boxes are sealed, man. Why would you think, oh yes, I would definitely want to have a random fox that can attack me be put into a box to sell to me, yes please. You won't get away. Let's settle this. <laughs> but maybe I'm just the one with some sense. It could be a thing in the Zhang show. I don't know. <clears throat> The grinding, leveling stuff has been worth it. You, you cut a free wolf. You don't say. I cut a free wolf. <clears throat> I got two of them. Like, they're very well designed and very pretty. But they would probably try to eat me in my sleep. <clears throat> and that's not really something I would like to happen. That seems not good. Okay. <clears throat> Goodness. I have something for you. Take this. Shape of Titan Rise. Beat it. 
<laughs> Holy moly. Uh, yeah, ever since I leveled up characters, I finally get to use characters that don't get as much attention because they were too low leveled. He's your electricity, just kicks your butt, man. Hello! Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just fighting wolves right now. Ooh, a nice hit. Perfect! Alright. Tamed drops from abominations of abundance. Which makes me wonder even more. Is that gonna cause issues of people becoming the uh, enemies before? Because they thought they were gonna be uh, given eternal life or something? What was it? Learn anything? Uh, here you go. Oh dear, it smells so funky. Better throw it away in the trash can. Are you a professional time waster? But there's no trash cans in the trash we have checked. I'm quite young, man. Guess I've no choice but to hand these to Lil Tian and see if she can use them for medicine. What well, I think I'm gonna throw up. Excuse me, now. If I may, as if I may be, uh, if I may be so bold as to ask, you can't help pets. The animals are lovely. <clears throat> Maybe it'll happen in the future. <clears throat> it would be interesting. Uh, but the wolves are not exactly friendly. <clears throat> is that... Nah... Uh, this is just an NPC. Her name is Short Auntie. <clears throat> I'm here to help. That's great, then I'll take it a little easy. Except for really, you just have to run the dishes, portion size, and, that, and things to avoid for every order. Should get some rest, the world spins, guess it won't be long before the hallucination kits in. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Dinners will be here soon. Oh, so I'll leave the store with you. <clears throat> I know Delcy Pavilion was popular, but we're not the, I never thought there would be this many people. <laughs> Can I really remember everything if two customers order at the same time? I'll just do my best. Um, I'd like one portion of skellin... Chicken. The wolf said free meat. Thanks. I'm glad that you have such... <laughs> such confidence in me. Sorry, I'm grabbing a notebook. Got it. Haha. -ha. It's called... If I was gonna be waiting on something, I would be using freaking pencil and or pen and paper, man. So you want one portion of scallion chicken. Uh, one portion of moonlight rice. Moonlight rice. Large bowls. So both of them large. <clears throat> okay, okay, one moment, please. Give me one portion. So that's one order. One portion. Cinnamon? Cinnamon pork ribs. Okay. That what makes you happy. <clears throat> ribs. On rice. That's quite the big meal, you don't say. <clears throat> and the one steamy soy sauce chicken. Steamed soy sauce chicken. Steamed soy sauce. Chicken. Yeah, this is. <clears throat> I guess they just really hungry. And then no cardiander, cardiander, whatever the fuck that means. Okay, one well, moment, please. One purple. Oh, three people. <clears throat> and then one purple taro with pork. 
What the frick? Pork. I cannot spell pork. I spell park. It's fine. Um, actually, scrap that. Give me... <laughs> okay, so you don't want that. You want a... <laughs> okay. I can't... What is crispy? <laughs> so, crispy pig instead. A medium cup of herbal tea. What made you... Like, you went from a purple thing to a pig and then herbal tea. Uh... Medium. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay, one moment, please. Alright, I got everything on the map. <laughs> okay. So, boy, remember the first dino wanted a portion of scallon, chicken, and one ounce. Moonlight, one large bowl of moonlit rice. Yeah, that's it. The second dinner wanted stem and pork, ribs on rice, and what else? One steamed soy sauce chicken. Hmm, this is making me appreciate the occupations of the waiter of restaurants for their memory to remember things. Yeah, they, re they remember a lot. And you have to remember, they have to write fast to keep an idea of how many, depending on how many people are at a table, so that they can get it. Uh, this one. Yeah, that's it. So you have to remember, yeah, they, it's very impressive for what they have to do, man. Uh, the third diner wanted crispy pig and a drink of what? Herbal tea, a medium cup of herbal tea. Yeah, that's it. Uh, after a long period of hard work, you can personally feel that our Mally is indeed pumping with throngs of tourists. All right, is that it? Am I good now? Do I need to do more? Uh, not the advertisement. I <laughs> this one. Thank you. Uh, when you finally have some downtime after serving the customers, <clears throat> Ming Ji has already arrived at the Delicacy Pavilion. Put that behind me just in case I need it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks for your hard work. I heard the chef say that you didn't mess up any orders at all, which is really amazing. Um, sure, Andy, you just agreed to collaborate with the docks. Please add Delicacy Pavilion into the logistics plan. This way the docks can get some new orders soon. Let's get planning started. Woo! <clears throat> now I have to fix this to work. Um, what is this? Longevity. Uh oh, we got. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do this. Tour sorry, but my vision only requires three people. <laughs> Ink and <in>, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so she can get like two here to get that, and then. Wah! And then go up around. <clears throat> that should work for one. Uh, let's do this, this, this. Is it this way? Okay, so there's a better way to score. This. Do not be alarmed or how I have eight days. I have not cried sleep once more. Ah! Uh, I think this is gonna be a pattern. Okay, so I am like. really low, and now I talk and act like how I normally am in campus. Ah! Uh. <clears throat> Alright, how. How about if I just go like. This is that. Let's go like this. And then what the. Da, 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 da. So that's the same. Uh, if I just have you go da 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 da. Let me. Paste this. Out. 
down, around, up. And then get this there. Okay, so that... <clears throat> gets that over so I can maybe... get these to get a higher number. Hold on. It's score of six, it went up by one. Um... Well, because I can't have this go like this, because then that blocks this path off. Um... What the waddle? What the waddle? <clears throat> Let's delete these real quick. Because this gives that a 4. This just wastes its time, so let's just put this back and go wee. And then up. Okay, that's a 19 score. <clears throat> so if we can get the further out one, but then that blocks that off. Uh, you know, I have any toys I so far. Do you even need how much? You end up with 13, so if I go boop, 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 boop. Okay, you're in the way. So if I bump you down like a little bit, so we can. Boom. And then... Nope. It's higher. But... I gave you four boosts. Uh... That's a one way. This. This is a one way. Okay, so you have to go this way. <clears throat> it's quite tricky one indeed, but it's quite simple most of the time anyways. Yeah, <clears throat> cause I can't have it go through this way unless I can keep it like that. So, all right, this is just annoying, very, very annoying. Okay, it's way too sensitive. So and this going straight up has to go around. And ends up with five. But then it can't end up at six. Oh, right. Okay. So if we go da 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 and then go up. <sighs> and then have... Can you just not divert the path of the first one to go around the shop up top? I technically could. Hello. I could try that. And it, yeah, because that just ends up with that. Ah! Because I end up with less, but maybe that will fix my problem. Because it ends up being like. It ends up 13. If I do it this way, I gotta move. There. Okay, let's try. Okay, around. Alright, that's better. But yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. They just really want a weird, inefficient way <laughs> to get to the freaking place, I guess. So I'm two points down. Um, could I just 
Cause that does that. Ah, uh, you be do this. So, okay, what this do anything for me? And go like this, like this. Still forty three. Sure. This isn't really the problem, so is this the problem? Alright, let's try... ...having you... ...go like this. So close, but you're also very welcome since I'm <laughs> actually peeking me due to my state. Yeah! Thank y'all. Alright, what if I do... does that... 40. So if I then do this... Yes, thank you. Okay, does that make it worse? Yes, it does. Okay. So this is better without. This is better with this boost. Because the number just goes down. But I need two points, so I'm missing some efficiency. What if I boop, boop. Oh, put that back? I don't think this changes much. Yeah, that's still 11 points. Because <sighs> this still has to go this amount to get to that. So let's see if I just do this. 44. Okay, how about... I have an idea. How about I do this... Uh, don't do that. Boost. Let me get more boost. Nope, that makes it worse. I thought I figured it out. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what it's trying to tell me. It's to go further away. Nope. And I like that. Get the boost. Go back up. Because it's gonna... When I hit complete planning, it's gonna be like, well, you have another boost. Hmm, but what if you don't take two from the yellow path? Uh, if I don't take two from the yellow path, it makes it less... Can you work with me? Oh, I guess. <laughs> okay, it won't be... Whatever, I thought it... Sometimes it freaking wants speed... Boost. So, I guess this time they didn't want it. Whatever, game. You make about as much sense as none at all. Actually, the IPC came looking for me once before and hoping to buy this place. I asked them what they planned to do with it. Said they wouldn't stick a dino here, so I told them that they'd have to think about it on it. Togo Sea Pavilion may not be as famous as Spicy Supreme, but I, if I just sold out like that, then nothing would be left at all. And wouldn't that be a shame? So I thought maybe if I could make some new dishes like Master Yang Tree it, and earn a little fame and fortune for myself. But later on, I figured out that I wanted to cook what I was good at, and I wanted to keep my little diner going, so... <laughs> Went in, Miss Secretary, I hope you can help me make a name for myself. But yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I'm looking at this thing, and I thought I had to do all of it like that, but I guess not. What does it say? See, see what I'm mapping is there, I guess, when I don't... I will be handy and dandy. <laughs> Uh, it just means that your brain weirdly- sometimes when people are sleep deprived, their brain weirdly can focus on some things. That doesn't mean it's healthy, it's just a thing. Uh, uh, don't worry, short anti I hope you cooperate again in the future, we'll definitely make a name for the Delicacy Pavilion. Face your aid, more and more people are visiting the Delicacy Pavilion. Woo! -hoo. Okay, good amount of people. 
That's good. And now we can do more orders. That should hopefully just cap off the budget. Cause I just can't. I want to finish this little side quest. The kind of the thing kindly works in my favor and might as well take advantage of it. Yep. Uh take care of affairs. Uh, submit. Claim that so I get more of those. Give me do this. Not more of those. <clears throat> this should work. Uh so we need one of these. Uh how do I Okay, we can't put that up. And I need so this can't be put on the ground. That can be put- okay, hang on. Can you not be- I guess not. Um... And oranges... Then we need a table. So maybe instead we flip... Boy, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna shimmy the table in here. Cause I can fit three, I need a fourth one, and then a table. Let me figure it out, King. Give me a second. Let me do this. Uh, this won't fit on there. What is this? don't know what that does. Uh, can that even... Okay, it does not work. Um... Flip this this way. Now, so it's a four... No, it's a three block space. Okay, so we could do that. Then do this. Then put the table in the middle. Uh, so we need one of these, and one, two, three, four of these. Just want to see. Okay, so wow, I did get it spot on. Woohoo! Didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta fit a giant robot. So he takes four spaces. You guys take three spaces. One, two, three. And then we have to fit four of you, though. <clears throat> so how in blazes do we do that? <clears throat> this is a three space. Let me move you out of the way so I pick it up. Turn this. Alright. So we can fit you here. Add that. And then one, two, oh, it won't be added. <laughs> Let's say this is quite the edit in range, but definitely quite symmetric. Yeah! Do you guys fit on this? You do! Aha! <clears throat> there we go. Hey, it works for the game, and that's all I can say for it. It works! Okay, we reached the goal. Uh, the revival project has begun to bear fruit and many stores have established collaboration with the doc, but then the president worried that RM's allied abandonment of traditional business models an act of great digging its own grave. To stick to the old ways or to reform, you have to prove yourself to be the right ones. Something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. Yep, we've been working very hard on this. The guild promises that we will use the money where it is meant to be spent. No disappointments. Woo! The funds will be used for the overall repair and upgrade of the dock. Which means we won't be able to use the dock's shipping logistics for a while. Oh. Okay, so merchant... 
Guild Letter of Appreciation 3. <clears throat> so, dear business advisor Ren, on behalf of the RM Alley Merchant Guild, I want to once again express our deepest gratitude to you. Thanks to your diligent efforts, we have successfully earned a total of 300,000 gold. But you're just enclosed in the middle. Do you suspect the people? How do you suspect the people to access the middle? I don't know. Welcome back. Uh, they just. <clears throat> Well, they lift up the stuff from the outside and then get to the middle stuff in the middle. <clears throat> uh, before the bidding recruitment deadline. Reaching the revenue target, the Merchant Guild pledges to use the funding as the security deposit for the bid and also for approving Arms Alley. For structure, we promise to use these hard-earned gains to achieve the maximum effect. Okay, so now we got six different things to do. Uh, ordinary life problems that can happen at any time in Arms Alley. Lend a hand to the neighborhood and improve the Merchant Guild's reputation and may just double upon unexpected benefits. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, what happened here? How, uh, how long does that bird come to its senses and won't just stop slacking off? There's the slacker. Um, to be honest, it's one of our side cranes. Thanks to the logistic route you had planned, our business has been booming in Arms Alley, but I never expected that something would go wrong on my end. My side crane is actually a great helper, but it has one terrible shortcoming. It likes to slack off from time to time. Now I need it for something, but it's nowhere to be found. I'm almost overwhelmed by the, all the complaints from our customers about delivery service. It's a good thing you're here. Mingjin and Shushan were just telling me that you're a thoughtful and swift helper. The side crane is a cunning one. If you see someone coming to catch it, it will assert that you found the wrong sea crane. But the thing about sea crane is that it's a chatterbox and always pesters people with its makeup stories. That's its signature characteristic. I'm sure you, this won't be much of a challenge for you, so you can help me catch that pesky side crane. Thank you in advance. <clears throat> oh, joy. What's wrong with this rope? Um. Okay, go ahead 50 meters, but there's a wall block in the way. How can we go straight, though? Tell me we're supposed to dig under. Navigation issues? Yeah, my navigation data is obviously buggy. Uh, hey, my Heron's ed <clears throat> Express data is a bit buggy. I've only been working this gig for a few days, but the foodie map over in Arms Alley is completely blank. I don't know my way around here. You seem to know Arms Alley pretty well. Can you help me out? Here are my side crane sit in. Here's my side crane and partner. There you go. Please take it around a few nearby restaurants. Oop. Show me where to go. What's it going? Do this vision from here. Okay. I think I picked two different things. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, made it to one. <clears throat> okay, it's got the data. Uh, you're not so sure where you are, so you look it up on the map in your phone. Ooh, so the Spice Supreme is right next door. Let's go. Where did the crane? That duck some side crane. Where did a side crane that size duck off to? What does it mean? Only for the side crane, I just saw it fly straight ahead over there. I think it's near. It's in. It's the rear court of the Space Supreme, right beside the Longevity Hall. Thank you. I'll be off then. I should never asked, but what is the objective of this fine evening? Uh, hopefully to maybe get close to or finish. The this quest plus doing more story stuff because I want to do more story stuff, but <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm getting close to the end of this quest. <clears throat> if I can help it. Uh, why is there so many? I don't know if they really. 
<clears throat> to any of the stuff that I need. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Okay, I guess we got to fight. Oh. We love the red. What is with people? Can people just freaking find Cloud Knight armor just anywhere? Is that just a thing? This seems like a continuous problem. This was the second? No, third time. What the f <laughs> uh... Oh boy. Time to make a decision. Yes, I'll make a decision in a sec. Okay, that's a interesting thing to say. Uh, no this. Do -do -do -do. All right. <laughs> Even if I don't have mostly effective attributes, it freaking works. <laughs> Yes, even though you do not speak, it is required. <laughs> uh, okay, no fighting, we're just actors, truth and fiction. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so that. Is it this? Yes, it is. Goodness. Uh, who are you talking about? Why is it like this? Why are you like this? March 17th. I'm calling March 17th Big Lemonade. Why? Is there a particular reason? Well then, what is the front entrance? Okay. Is that a reference? I have no idea what that means. I don't know why that would be a reference, but who knows? Uh, okay, there's one over here. Navigate, sure. Teleport. It's, okay. Oh, it's the birds. Uh, I mean, I delivered quite a few packages, but that was the first time I ever crossed. Chris Packers was such a stunt. I thought to look at this since we ran me. Oh, that's a... <laughs> this is extraordinary. Yes, Pink Lemonade does exist, but I don't know if that means anything. Just calling her that because her hair is pink. Okay, I was just like... <laughs> I'm like, is there something I'm not getting? But yeah, her hair is definitely a lighter pink that is similar to Pink Lemonade. I could see that. I'm still on vacation, huh? Oh boy. Uh, catch them all. Maybe <laughs> I'll go with you. Okay. Yay! I think we got everything. I don't know. Was that six of them? Alright. Oh. I just clicked. I guess we're going somewhere else right now. Uh, head to the food stall and collect the snacks Minji ordered. Okay. I told Auntie. <laughs> Done for Aramali. Please take your time. I packed some for you to take home too. Oh well, thank you. That was very sweet of you. Tell Auntie enthusiastically packs a bag full of takeout for you. Oh and <laughs> group text message. Uh the president asked me to plan a public meeting of the merchant guild. 
in order to help defeat the old president, I prepared a little something where are we meeting. Only young masters are so dependable, let's make it at the docks. These treasure base camps like this, I always end up building a team that heals them up. Hey, that it's very helpful in this game, man, to have a healer. Or you just die instantly. Let's make it at the docks, Madam Yukon will be there today too. I want you to side, so do your best. We will win the president over completely. You say the president will definitely show up today, right? Should be great. I want to win this. This. Okay. So you made me run over here to get a call to run back. So that you could load this up. Is that... Huh. All right. Oh well. Right on time. <coughs> Xiao Han is about to share his strategy for the upcoming hearing. The president likes to quote past experiences and data. We can do that too. The president and Madame Yu Kong are here. Ready? Uh, to the best of my ability. Let's <coughs> Before we start, uh, let's review the documents we have. Uh, turn over Arms Alley Merchant Guild. The most direct achievement of our revival project. More importantly, it's evidence that the alley has regained its footing. The money will serve as the bidding deposit for Arum Alley. Uh, sales and analysis of artistry hardware. Hardware partnered with the dock. Its scope of operations has expanded. And its revenue and customer I just want to <laughs> This room two supports one tank and the last one maybe Hey it works It works it works And For the other comment it, Hey If you like the character designs And the characters Good for you you like the character designs As a result We're seeing an uptick in customers visiting the shop Contrary to the president's assumptions <laughs> uh, the historical trading volume of the alley. The data suggests that the success of the old Aram Alley was largely due to the economic circumstances of the past. At its peak, the old Aram Alley had a trading volume similar to what the alley has today. Ooh. That's good. I looked over everything. All right. I will be hosting this hearing on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission. <laughs> Are your people all present? <laughs> okay, he's not here. He's got a tiny box to represent him. But where's the president? He's right there. I'm right here. You're the president? That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> my appearance is a little unsettling. If the hearing words of vital importance to the future of our valley, I wouldn't attend in person. I'm just depressed. Still, I didn't expect a reaction like this. Are you so afraid to converse with a piece of metal? Nah. More surprised than afraid. I just didn't expect it. Surprised that there's an Arumaton in Arum Alley? Just... Let me remind general. everyone that we are at a hearing. Mr. President. Please share with us your vision. Why is he only a head, though? Where's the rest of his body? <laughs> I can tell that the opposing side is eager to see Aramali thrive. Your passion resonates with me. Since we share the same passion, where is it that we disagree? The prosperity under your proposal means diminishing the alley's tradition and personality. We can afford neither. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Yang. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Mr. Yang? <laughs> this isn't Mr. Yang. <laughs> tell that the opposing side is the okay. The plans to turn the alley into a logistics hub. You are practically thinking the same. No, we are not. What's the question? Our proposal is different from the IPCs. Uh, that's right. The IPC will close down artistry hardware if they take over. We would never do that. We protect businesses. The IPC sacrifices <laughs> them for their own gain. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by mystery. Protect. Sacrifice. I find that humans rarely understand these concepts correctly. 
The outcome is what truly matters. Once the alley has turned into a logistics hub, shops like Artistry Hardware will be able to sustain themselves, regardless of what the IPC does. I just wonder why he was put in an automaton. Is it just so he could... March 7th called him that? Are you talking about this? This character? Or are you talking about, uh... Oh my gosh. The, the one from the Trailblazers. That's his last name. Even Stella calls him that sarcastically. Stella calls him that sarcastically. Oh. Present evidence. Take a look at this. What am I looking at? The IPC okay. How about this? Take a look at this. What am I looking at? The IPC. All right. Take a look at this. What am I looking at? Okay, so not best statement. Overdevelopment can only adversely impact customer experience, making the alley less appealing. Do you have data to support your statements? Hmm. Historical data has proved my point. It is the reality, not rhetoric, that matters. I sense a hole in his logic. You tell me you don't know Walt's full name is Walt Yang. Yes, I do. I do know what you're talking Oh, I didn't see that one sentence before. So Dr. Rachel Walt, still my favorite character, though. So. You mean Mr. Yang? On that. Okay, I didn't see the one statement about Dr. Ratio on Walt. I went from the other thing. I still call him Walt, though, no matter what you call him. Now I understand. I knew his last name was Yang. I just was very confused. I thought you were talking about this guy for a minute, but I missed the one comment, so then the context makes sense now. Take a look at this. What am I looking okay, it's not the present this. Take a look at this. Okay, it's not this. There's a hole in his logic. Is it this one? Okay. Actually, more customers coming to the alley. This record reflects the change in artistry hardware's turnover and the increase in customers since it partnered with the dock. The shop does better than it used to. Impossible. You must be bluffing. What do you mean? It, context matters. I didn't see it, okay? You know Ming Shi better than I do. Would she deceive you with fake data? The sample size is too small. I'm not convinced. How big of a sample size do you need? Mr. President, I would think of ways to translate the success of that one sample into something that can benefit everyone. A guild that doesn't proactively help businesses has no reason to exist. <laughs> not witness what I have seen. So you fail to understand my insistence. You can't just rely on your age and experience. <laughs> there are many things that only time can tell, young one. You have not witnessed okay, what about next? achieved a commercial miracle that has not yet been replicated. It did so by following my way of doing things. Are you suggesting <laughs> that the alley is a shadow of its former self? That is correct. <laughs> the number of customers visiting the shops was ten times what He's also just stuck behind, like, a door, so he doesn't really get to see everything. credited as the best night market on the law food. Things were better in the old days. That I am certain. <laughs> Okay, so present. So this, this, no. Okay, it is this one. That's the thing is very. That thing is very breakable. If, if it falls, it'll shatter me to pieces. Yeah, it's not impossible. It's definitely an older. It, because the president has been around for a while, I don't know what materials he has used, so it probably get, he probably gets upgrades. So I don't think it would completely shatter. It would probably have some parts that would break. You included the delivery side cranes in your map. I did. So what? 
Yay! I mean, this is the nicest, most possible way to say it. It's in there. I guess. Uh, I was looking for. I got lucky. It was a collective effort. Hey, he cares about this alley that he helped grow. So you know. To entrust you with the future of the alley. Wasn't he he wasn't really against us? The president commands the trust of many reputable shops in the alley. Their support for him was likely to be a big obstacle to your rejuvenation project. Well yeah. Because they trust us. debate this matter publicly was a chance for the more difficult business owners to hear from you directly. Ooh, he is indeed very wise. Mally's enemy should be the IPC, not the president. If <laughs> the IPC isn't an enemy. I wouldn't say it's an enemy. If you decided to drop off drop off the building, you sure remember Skidot, right? He's been transferred elsewhere. I'll be Yay! Good riddance. You're with the IPC? Xiao Han is the IPC's operation rep in exalting Sanctum. Wow, plot twist. Can't say I'm surprised. My original plan only involved helping you overthrow the current president. But as we progressed, I saw there was more common ground than I'd anticipated. Wow. Since we all agree that the dock is vital to Aram Alley's development, why not take things further and turn the alley into a full-blown logistics hub? Uh... Imagine cargo ships from all corners of the galaxy docking and departing. This place will be transformed into a renowned commercial port. Instead of another run of uh, uh this that isn't progress. If the wins the bidding, I'm sure we can continue to work together for a brand new RM Alley. Hey, not so fast. It's still anyone's game. <laughs> you want to completely destroy it versus you you're meant to be broken, then why even make <laughs> Oh boy. If rules are meant to be broken, then why even make them? Ah, uh, you, you are what the heck? Wrong guy. I cannot spell to save my life. Uh, is that even... <laughs> huh? That's a door. Uh, did you misspell the name? At least some rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. In that case, keep up the good work. I'll see you at the negotiation table. Okay, so this is far from over. Johan leaves the dock, the next phase of Arms Alley Revival has begun. Oh, boy. As much as I appreciate spending time with you guys, I shall excuse myself from this group to avoid controversy. For now, farewell. Left the Arms Alley project. Uh, although you have different positions at negotiating, at the negotiating table, your goals are the same. Therefore, you should engage in a thorough debate to have a chance to supplement your own perspective from each other's viewpoint an open mind perspective is more valuable than a singular viewpoint yes ma'am yeah okay oh well 
The dock is running at full capacity. Just like last time, I told the workers to clear out areas that weren't utilized and use them to store extra cargo. We now have the additional capacity to work with more businesses and have also opened a new route leading to the port. With streamlined logistics planning, I think we'll see a revitalized alley in no time. That's good. Uh, take care of the fares. Karen Express sees Cy Cranes as family. And he said he'd never turn his back on family. That was an interesting fact. Alright, so we got level 10. Three more things to do there. The Merchant Guild used the funds to upgrade the dock and unlock large size Fritz Star Skip. They will be used to arrange inventory. The large size Fritz Star Skips will provide higher shipment revenue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> How in blazes are you ex. How am I supposed to fit four of these? Uh, well, no, I can do. Nope, you won't let me do that. Um, unload. Yes. So what if I do... No, so you will not go on those. Because, can you go on this one? No, you can't. What? Two... So I can get six of them. I can get three of those. How in blazes am I supposed to fit all of this? Because I can't put you guys on there, and this won't go on there. So there's gotta be, like, something I can do. So what if I... that... Um. Okay, what if I put two of these? Let me... Try things game. So this to do this. So that works. <laughs> what about if I go uh nope turn. Ah let me let me try. <laughs> okay, so you won't let that happen. What about this? Okay, this will work. Okay, so you take up three spaces, though. Okay. And then you can fit on there. Okay. Nope. Hang on. Eh. Okay, you won't fit on that. Put it there. Give me, ah, give me this. Put this. Oh, and you can fit on these, too. Huh. Well then. Uh, get rid of these. Okay, so then we need boop boop boop. Okay. Oh, so accurate. Okay, obviously we'll get into... I want to finish this because I think we're close to what I need, so... If I put one, two, three, four... Can you guys realistically... What was this? Can you guys stand on this? I can. You did a good job. Thank y'all. Okay, so you guys can stand on these. So if I shimmy you guys to the back. And then go that it. And then that it. Those can't fit. Uh... Oh, I need 14 of these. Hang on, hang on. Let me 
figure it out, game. Give me a few seconds. So, can you stack on each other? No, you can't. Uh. Uh. This? Turn? No? So, I still need to fit four more of these gosh drop things. How in blazes do I do that? I thought this would give me like. This won't work. This won't work. One, two, three, four, five. So it's ten. Uh. Oh, and then you guys won't fit on these for whatever reason. Uh. So freaking. Okay, uh, what if I deload this? Uh, no, what can I? S okay, can I stack? Okay, so you guys won't stack. Okay. That's annoying. Okay, you do work. You. Why didn't you work before? What the frick? Oh, this is a three spot. Okay, fine, put those back. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I don't get it. And now I understand. Alright. Uh, with the achievements, it's time to take a look at I've heard. Okay. I asked Su Shang to have a chat with Yin Sui to see if we could secure Spice's Supreme as the next client for the dock. I've heard Su Shang has made some progress. If she could use some extra hands, would you mind helping her out? Uh, leave it to me. I would have helped her myself, but I've been drowning in paperwork in preparation for the bidding. Oh, Su Shang is waiting for you at Spice Supreme. Go find her when you have the time. All right, let's. I just want to get this quest. Give all your What do you mean? <laughs> Well, thanks. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't. Uh, I wish there's a game dream if I could order for takeout. They don't do takeout? Supreme crossover. Ambassador. <laughs> Proko maker, you didn't want it. 
I don't even have Sparkle as a character. So, I don't think that's an issue. Which, I... All I could say is I wouldn't want her to do things that she's not comfortable with. That's just weird. Stop, you know. Uh, the uh, ambassador? Doctor in the Alchemy Commission. If she can be our ambassador, we'll have cues for miles. True. Wow, that's a lot of information. I haven't wrapped my head around it, but I'm sure you'll do a good job. Huh. Leave it to me. Huh. About these visiographs, what do you need me to do? Let's I'm assuming they want to act cute. Bailu at the alley entrance. Bailu and sight cranes. Should be. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe and uh, only one set mentions the alley. You sure people give you a list are a little random? And I hand them. A random. Uh, take a photo of Bailu at the alley entrance. Okay, that's a great picture with a guy just randomly in front of her. Uh, I wish I'd read more books. Any ideas? Um, please report all lost children to the Realm Keeping Commission. Uh, welcome to our alley. Like, what do you want me to do, man? The other options weren't great either. Take a photo of Bailu and Cycrans. Follow Bailu and Cy Sushong to the next photo. Shoot spot. Cheese. That. Perfect. I have another slogan for this one. Uh, cranes of a feather ship together. Huh. Sounds like I'm not needed here. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, oh my goodness, Bailu and friends. Follow Bailu and Sushan to the next spot. Remember, smile when you say the word. Why are you shocked? There. Done. Uh, but you hear the ones I came up with. One, please. Well, uh, Arsenal, cooler, cooler, coolest. Uh, and you don't like any of them, so stop asking. Wish about searchers. Well, they probably bite you. <laughs> if they. If they don't like you, they probably bite you if you try to touch their tails, so... I have to be very careful what you wish for, man. Can you... there. Goodness. Yensue has just told me to go ahead with the partnership. Bailu can finally have her take out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only good news today. Oh, well, get over it, Bailu. Let's start the planning. Alright, Spice Supreme. Alright, that was easy. Alright. Do hmm. do. want to start making takeout, we're going to need more hands in the kitchen. Mincy, how likely is it that the guild will win the bid? I'm trying to work out what the future holds for Spice Supreme. Uh, we will win the bid, I promise. I can't say for certain, but with you on board, our chances have greatly increased. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, Dragon Lady, why don't you drop by the restaurant? I'll make you some <laughs> smoked patty. Thanks. I'm starving. 
She's always hungry. Due to its wild popularity, Spice Supreme has drawn countless tourists to pay them a visit. Woo! Oh, all the tables except for one is filled, so that's really good. Uh, okay, now we have more orders to make. Alright, we're making a lot, a lot, a lot of progress. I just need a few more things. Take care of our names, Allie. Don't matter if they fight. Okay then. That's your prerogative. You're probably not the only one, that's all I can say. Uh, logistics. New route advantages seem to have appeared in the Courtier net, click the seeds effects. This time the Merchant Guild established a collaboration with Artistry Hardware. Let's start playing the rope from here. Oh, you've added things. Okay. So if I go. Da -da, da -da. Uh. I don't know if that did much of anything. Uh, let's do. Um, and then this one will go like this. Okay, so this one's the one we kind of like mess with more. Uh, why don't I just go- I don't know why I didn't just go like that, but who knows. And boost. Perfect! Complete planning. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I can't do all of them again? Are we good? Okay, that's done. Now we gotta just do this. Uh. <laughs> okay. That worked. <laughs> if I. They let me do it, but I'm not gonna do it first. That's good. Consent is important. Consent is very important. Cause they would not like you. But well. Oh, well that worked out. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> that one's done. Bum, bum, ba -dum -dum. Okay, funding's going up. Can these guys be on top of each other? They cannot. Interesting. So, if I do this. Okay, you will, so you will not go on these. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then bow up. Oh, no spots. Okay, so you have to be on the ground. That won't work. How's that? <laughs> Just flowers. Flowers for days. Cuz I can't put the rest of these because I needed... Well, I can't even put this if I tried. What's the reverse this? Yep, wow, exact match. Perfect. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is what you play Hungry Star Rail for, right? Money achievements. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Did I do everything I need to do in here? Nope. 
need this. I get the double amount of goodies. Alright, now. Deal with whatever's going on here. And an hour and thirty, we'll deal with. We'll go back to. We'll go to the main story for a bit. It just happens I have something. Have I met you before? Met a few times, but you probably don't remember me. Uh, my shirt. My store shows fandangles, but lately more of my art is filling in. Time people have started to see my store as an antique shop, and even the merch girl has a makeup that I officially make the switch. So then the thing is, I'm giving my top box. The thing is, if I were to make the switch, it would be like a whole new shop, and I'd have to start from. Yeah. So we got to for me for help. Okay. Spread rumors that I don't know anything about antiques. Uh, why don't you just close up and hear your family fortune? <laughs> okay. Let me just. We love clicking today. But I don't have any teeth, so I'm gonna put. So I'll have to do a. Okay. I have two appraisal antiques. Try it yourself and see what you what it's all about. The studying through some connections as well. I will help you follow the oranges. original year of objects so you know which antique to smash. Follow its guidance and you won't make mistakes. Well, try it yourself and you'll know what to do. At the beginning is its appraisal features on the jar. This one's genuine and the other one is fake. Now stop. Okay, so the yellow... Okay, so yellow means that it's... Okay, just leave the genuine one alone. Okay. Cute dog. Yep, it's an adorable dog. Uh, with the gimmick of a treasure appraisal event, well, it has attracted a few potential customers. Yeah, it's it would be nice if you could just keep the dog with you. Set up an SPC reality show. I don't think it has anything to do with IPC, it looked like foo then it seems. Those fake can never be real. Okay, let's not show what I'm made of. Okay. Smash. Smash. Uh, as the onlookers gradually scatter, you notice that Ming Jin has already arrived at Elegance Pagoda. Okay, just keep that getting off. Let's get the planning started. Okay. Elegance Pagoda. Okay, now I can fit this one into this mess. Okay. Let's... So if I just do the no, this no get rid of that so I can do this pins go like it yeah it definitely yeah there we go ah I'm just gonna make sure I know. What is being said? Uh, build. Oh, her. Okay, I know who she is. Yeah, she has a lot of them. I actually have her now. She's one of the. I got her as the free character from Penacony. So now I got another fire user decides. Himiko and the Trailblazer. Next year, more and more people are visiting Elegance Pagoda. Woo! Work has been done. Woo! Okay, now we gotta do more stuff. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Here are the affairs. I got an ESF. I applaud you. I did not get lucky with the, some of the things. Did I just? Oh, you're. Those are big boys. What the fuck? Who in? Are we doing this? I can't do the circle technique. 
because I don't think that works. Well, no, it kind of works in this. <laughs> but I don't use her that much. Oh, that can happen. One, two. So that's four. No, back. One. Turn. Oh, look, they're staring each other down. Ain't that cute? Oh, oh. Uh, how am I supposed to fit all of them on here? Because if I get... Because that does that, but that doesn't help me. Because you take up six spaces. What if I... Oh, that doesn't help me. I just haven't gotten a chance to have her on my team very often, just because I don't have her level up yet. That's not going to do anything for me. So I can fit two of you. But how in blazes am I supposed to fit you all in this tiny little place? Um... Fine, I'll take a hint. I did better, but I was trying to work on my Archon, so I don't use her with my Archons. Yeah, it's whatever your... Like... At, at the end of the day, it's like, what characters do you want to play with the most, and that you have the items for? Like, I... Leo is my second most used character, and I had to wait a little bit to get items for him. <laughs> Because then I did not have... Uh... So I need to fit... Okay. So I had to wait a while to get... To me... To be able to get items to level him up properly, which sucked. Okay, you won't fit on this? That sucks. Can you guys fit on this? Um... Unload this, yes. Use my Clara team and my Shiro team. Yeah, just use what is to your benefit is all I have to say in the game. Because hey, whatever team you have leveled up, it's probably very helpful to you. I can't put anything on there. But you won't these so Okay. So if I do da 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 Hello, hello, hello. Then you won't let that happen. Can you just sit on oh, you know you cannot. So I have to put a placement spot for you to even sit. I have to have two placement spots for you to sit. Uh, let me hang on. This. So can you sit? Hello again. Hello, hello. Why is it like this? So you can fit over here. Cause I only two. But then I can't fit that. How in blazes am I supposed to fit all of this? Can you guys... Okay, hang on, hang on. Wait, do you cover three? You do. I may skip adventuring and summon for you. Well, that depends on what you need for your team. Uh, my day's going good. I'm just trying to organize this... Uh, mess of a thing that I have made. Okay, there's gotta be something that can go on here. I can't believe these couches can't go on this. Freaking ridiculous. Ah! But yeah, my day is going good. Just puzzles driving me crazy. Because even if I have that, what can... Because you won't go on there. You take up three spaces. Mm. 
Well, thank you for that compliment. <laughs> but yeah, you just have to organize everything of this list. Okay, what am I... So you can stand on them. I was right. So I wasn't crazy. It's just the way I have to position these. Okay. Turn. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I was on the right track. Crustacean is my nightmare. Yeah, that can happen. Alright, so if I switch this, this should make... Perfect. Alrighty. So, because it's a three and I try to do it with two. Okay, that's what. That explains everything. It explains everything. Uh, like, we're gonna have to do, like, a big... Finale with this freaking place. Like, my goodness, it's taken so long. Because uh, I do want to progress. And were you stuck on that? Not that long, like a few minutes. Like, at most three minutes, because I try to do it all myself. Because if you can figure it out yourself and add extra stuff, you make more money, which makes the quest go by faster. And things like that. Okay. Boss Do brings you a mug of flaming potent tea. This one, the ratio 9 to 1, is great for those who might be to blind you to sip. As you chug down the tea, its spicy taste sets your throat ablaze. The game has body pills as one of the bosses and the player character. Huh. Well, the game developers do what they want. Uh, that's all I have to say on that. Well, at least the world has become quiet again. That is the last thought that flashes through your mind before you collapse. Okay, so it's very strong tea. Oh, uh, you're right. The goodness passed out. We'll drink the tea. I thought you kicked the bucket. Oh, right. Are we doing it again? It's and then it's just gonna die. Hmm. What the fuck? Why is the but uh, the so sibling? Huh. <laughs> oh boy, that this tea is hurting your brain. How is it made multiples? It was too spicy, then it made me see hallucinations. Hallucinations. What's the next one? Oh, did we finally... Well, you're still savoring the flaming potent tea. Jing had already arrived at the Dew Tea House. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm feeling fine. Let's get the planning started. <clears throat> Alright, after this and the starting stuff, I'm going to take a mini break and then we can move on to story mode for... So that we can get... Because I did want to get that going. Because we left off with learning Aventurine's backstory. At least some of it. So, I'm curious. Thanks to your aid, more and more people are visiting those tea house. Because if anything, if there's a big boss fight that I have to deal with, I'm going to be stuck there for a good second until I figure out a plan. I still have that freaking ice child that I still have not beaten. And it's probably been a Two months? A month? I need to plan. <laughs> but hopefully once I get all of my characters up to a reasonable level, we will have less of a problem. Alright. More stuff. 
that. Box this to this. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay, we are <laughs> still. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need. Okay, these. Are... Why are these so tiny? What the frick? Uh, if I do this, will you sit on these? No, you will not. What will you sit on? Because you won't sit on this. Oh, do you sit on this? You do. Huh. <laughs> so what games do you like? Uh, adventure... Story- I like story-based games. Uh, RPG games. Puzzle games, depending on the puzzle. Some puzzle games are fun, some are- some games are evil. Uh, simulation games. I enjoy myself a good simulation game. Uh, I need to get ten of these. How do you expect me to get ten of these? What about horror? Um, it depends. I don't like blood and gore. That's not for me. <laughs> I have done a uh, heck taker before. Okay, so if I do... How in blazes do I fit another table on here? I could battle similar. Eww. How do I... If I switch you like this, you will not fit on that table. Um, oh, that works. Wait! Ah! You took away those! So what if I did that? Will that fit a table? It will. But then the problem comes up of I need five of these. No, I can still fix it. Oh, because it's a three by three. That's so annoying. Because then I can fit one. Like, these can't. Oh, no. This can fit this. And then I can fit like, four of these. And then. Fine, you made the freaking hand. So, get rid of... Do I have extras? I have four extras. Ah, okay. <laughs> may I ask the correction... May I ask what correct... Corrections are on your glasses? Corrections? Uh... If you mean what I need my glasses for, it's for reading uh, reading glasses. Okay, that real. If that's the question, because <laughs> they're glasses, so I can see things, uh, make things bigger. Because I can see just fine. I'm finally done. Have I done it? Are we good? Finally? No, like, never mind. I have something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. The Merchant Guild promises that we will use the money where the funds will be used. Okay. Continue. Okay, that's these things. Okay, so this is almost up. I am going to take a 
Uh, quick break. I'll be like right back. Oh, it's just a. Well, that's cool. I guess I could show this. I didn't know if it what it was showing. But look at that! I get a new wallpaper from the phone in the game. I don't know if I want one right now, but... Anyways, I am going to take a quick break, so I'll be right back. And then we can head into the story part of the game. So, uh, like I said, a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And yes, it's supposed to stare right into your souls to make sure that nothing... No mischief is afoot. So yeah. Alright, time to do some story stuff. As you can see, I have a never-ending list of tasks to do. So I know we will be just fine. That's an enormous sandbox. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. I'm entering you are a silly, silly, silly man. Uh, you hear a faint sound emitting from somewhere resembling the chirping of a bird in a figment from your subconscious. <laughs> tired. Well, hey, everyone has those days when they're tired, man. You glance down where you expect nothing is there. Draw a river's nemesis within the tree's gate, but not have to fall asleep. Well, <clears throat> sometimes just closing your eyes and laying there sometimes just helps. For some people, not everybody. I, s I see it. How do I get it? Oh, are we gonna like fall into this? Is that how I get it? There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. 
Wonder why. With your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Hey, play Terraria. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Uh, because you kind of are. Anyway, uh, no, but I know about Terraria. So, I know a lot of people enjoy the game. Okay, so I can't get that until later. That's annoying. I see the stupid bird! Let me get the stupid bird! But, yeah, I've never played it before. But, obviously, I know of the legendary, uh, indie game. I think anyone who plays, uh, games knows about it. I remember playing it with the so very beginner-friendly. I feel that sarcasm. I feel a strong sense of sarcasm. Calamity just tells me everything. Let's settle this. Like that just tells me everything. Hang on one. You say no. Nah. I wouldn't say this. <laughs> I, that's not convincing me at all. Cause that, cause calamity is something that you would name a very difficult uh, mod. Like there's a Subnautica mod that I can't remember. It just adds more content. Well, that just sounds interesting. If it is actually just more things to do, then that's interesting. Sure, I'll play that. Let's settle this. That was nice. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Time for an over. <laughs> oh come on. I'll see you all. <laughs> Thank you. Like an entire section of the game. Well, that'd be impressive. Oh, give me that. I probably need that. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. <laughs> like bosses. <laughs> well, that probably took a lot of work and a lot of time. <laughs> that just tells you so much. It's how much someone enjoys the game. There's a chest. It. This is it. <laughs> All right. Give me this. That. Wee. Perfect. Oh, there's another thing. Boss items. Hmm. Woo. Safe. <laughs> but you. Yeah. I'm wrapping a dry as Well, hey, it's interesting. I will say that, I just think something like Terraria seems like something more fun for, like, to have, like, friends playing, more than, like, yourself, if that makes sense. Yeah, one of the stupid birds. The annoying birds, I got one. Okay, click the button. Thank you. Uh, oh, give me that. It totally makes the vanilla in game basically middle and adds a whole new. Okay. Well, like I said, it sounds interesting. Okay, so we got that. Oh, so you can hit it. An angle. So you have a friend's lady. Okay, if that's how you read that. Alrighty then. I can't. There we go. Okay, what is our. Uh... Alright, there we go. Get up 
Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> uh, wait, is there anything other stuff I should be wondering about? If I get this, and then switch. Oh, that's cool. You can do it as a uh, adventuring. So now we're back. What is this? Oh boy. What the frick? Why is this a thing? Uh. If you want a good horror argument, it steals. Ricky's little legs. What is this? I love this. That shouldn't be a thing. That's too funny. Uh, that? that sounds familiar. Hello, welcome. You came back at at the right time for Hanu's freaking journey. Steel sounds so familiar. Uh, it steals. Oh, uh, well, Markiplier's played it, so that's a thing. Uh, wait. I just want. Oh, this thing. Okay, I know what this is. Oh, okay, I know what that is. You're a tiny man again. Yes, yes, I am. I am the tiny man again. And now I got a bazooka. I'm not spoiling it, I just know what it is. Uh, boss, stones, minions will experience true calamity when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. After taking aim at an enemy, hitting the fire button will release the Hanu ro rocket and consume ammo. Enemies will drop ammo after being defeated. If one of the ammo hits multiple enemies, more ammo is dropped at once. If Brother Hano has no more ammo left, you can turn the Hano launcher position to the unlock Hano rocket again and replenish one ammo. Ooh, give me that. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> to get blood out of a stone. What does that mean? Okay. Go. Click it. Go. Aha! Give me uh, that. <laughs> Is there... Can I just... Boop. Thank you. For your service. <laughs> Give me that. Thank you. Grand Duke Crown and other thing. You see the loot, the treasure looted by Boston in the limited edition storybook of Hunter's Adventure. Panacone Dreams. Woohoo! What did it, Tano? Wee! Give me those. What does that do for me? Ooh, even better. A uh, hunter's adventure. Before, if you use the Hano rocket to ignite the fireworks, it will trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and is incapable and is capable of destroying walls. Wait, you watch Marble Player? Uh, I haven't watched Marble Player in a while, but I know that he. Like, one of the first videos that comes out from It Steel shows Markiplier. So, you know, the assumption... It's one of the first things. No more ammo obtained. Please return the Hanu launcher. Where do I put the Hanu launcher? Alright. Don't work. Uh, Badusk. Thank you. Alright. I haven't watched Markiplier in a while, but I know 
he's just a nice creator to watch in general. Because he does a lot of good things. Yay, we got what we needed. The nameplate reads. Oh. <laughs> I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Okay. The two return to the lobby. Back the sand pit again. I will in a sec. I have thing. I have things to do. I think it's this way. There's supposed to be a fan game called these. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a thing that exists. I know about that. I think I saw. I. I think Daco maybe did a video? I might be wrong on that. Someone did a video of that, but I feel like I have heard Daco say those words. I genuinely feel like I have remembered that. Alright, let's see. Oh. There we go. Perfect! Can you play? No. No. That does not sound like a good idea. I don't think... I think you already know the answer because you stopped your sentence. Alright, so we got that. Now we can go back and deal with other things. It's just for the... No, it's for the achievement. Alright, open treasures 120 times pentacony. And then transform Hano and use Hano Rocket to defeat Boss Stone's minions for the first time. Yay! Progression! Oh. It's, it's family friendly mode. <laughs> Boy, that's nice. There couldn't be a possible reason why they would need to put a family friendly mode for people to play it. <laughs> I think that just answers everyone's wondering. Where's that stupid? Okay. Insert the Gulliver's Arch into the sea seat. Toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. <laughs> I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh boy. Oh look, the gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? It's just sent some memes and a character. Well, hey, it does what it has to do. Because, hey, there are some things where it's just like, uh. <laughs> Alright, so are we gonna shrink down to size? Is that, yep. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like- You're- you're gonna be that tiny forever? Oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. He's walking into a wall! Are you okay? Oh, hello. Are you alright, buddy? Uh, Tech on time. Kind of. Where's that bird? I know there's a bird. This way? There's a bird somewhere. I know it's here. It's literally a miniature version of the rest of the place. There's a bird, I know it's here. Somewhere.
<laughs> I'll take this. He just slides in and runs out. I know it's around it. Where's the mini? <laughs> uh, she's here. I'll just. I. It's always gonna happen, isn't it? People just really just like having her here, I guess. This guy's having a jolly old time, obviously. Oh, give me that. Give me, give me. Thank you. Uh, oh, another one over there. I need to find that stupid bird. Okay, the birds are on this side, so that must mean... Oh, there it is. How do I get up to the bird? In this place. I'm genuinely gonna wonder. I'm gonna look it up. I want to know. Uh, long tidy star rail. How to get the bird in the sand pit. Uh, why them are so huge? Okay. Ah! I just wanted a thing and it just sends me into a random- Oh, because it's a video. Why did I do that? I find the bottle of that. Blah, 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 blah. Neither the two the bird machine go to the pull the bird from the bus to her. I just want to be able to get the stupid bird. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh stairs the left reveal, Mr. Sean Long, that is left from me, stand the bird from the statue. Draw the image in the way taking a nuclear Players can ask what city, sand pit, teleport sand pit, that means channel up to the bird machine. Shadow, shape it right and pull the birds from the box on the type right corner. Okay, so there's bubble platforms. Okay. Okay. I can deal with that. Uh, enter the miniature sand pit and do fill play of alien for the first time. Okay, so there's a way to get up to you. I just gotta find them. That's a slight bit annoying, but what's new? Oh, I can't even stand on that. That's just annoying. Uh, well, everything looks <laughs> so weird. Because she's been <laughs> country. Okay, we're not doing this joke again. Or I will put her away. So she will not be seen anymore. Because this is a type of thing that is not... Uh, it's not okay, man. Alright, <laughs> uh, where's... Besides so the, the, the weirdness that is happening. Alright, is there any... Oh, there's been... No. Well, then stop making... Stop saying you're gonna eat the drawing. Or she will disappear. And go away. Because this is freaking ridiculous. Goes there. D Perfect. Not that. Not like that easy. Perfect. Sad. <laughs> well, hey, it's... I, hello, I am an NPC. You don't say. Okay. There's just a spinning balloon over there. Okay. I will interact with that in a second. Let me just make sure I'm not missing other things. There's another... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I literally walked in slow motion. Screw it off. 
Alright, let me just get in this puzzle. Nest flippers. What do you mean? No, she doesn't. She has multiple brain cells. She just is in a little outfit. That's done. Yay! She falls right after. I can put you in a timeout for that. You know. I'll give you a warning. Read the rules. <laughs> uh, right. Why are you in a... Oh boy, there, there's just lasers everywhere. <laughs> Alright, I have searched everywhere and I can't get upstairs yet. So, and you're just staring, so you're having a grand old time. Dr. Rachel. Okay, so we gotta go find these pieces. Alright. Bum bum. Ba -da -da. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> so this was the test? Is that what this is telling me? Oh boy. I just love the fucking <laughs> the the almost T pose. Tell me about the guided tour. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour Birds model. With the story of this way, I've missed so much I don't even remember you being the Sam dude. Oh, I did beat Sam. Oh, I defeated Sam. He went away, uh, we're now in Aventurine side of the story where we're trying to figure out more stuff about the family and we're kind of cooperating with him for now to see how everything goes. So yeah, if you see the others, there is, I literally have a stream with uh, Sam's face on the thumbnail, so if you want to attention or not with the NPC being a robot. But... It's supposed to be... Who is Sam? Sam. Uh, I wonder... The, the T-Pose is supposed to be intentional because it's supposed to be broken. In a, an early testing model for the rest of the dreamscape. Uh, and the answer to who Sam is... Sam is a... Uh, he's part of a group of people that... Kind of are... Anti-heroes? So yeah, but here goes everyone frying back and what is wrong with that man? Uh, we are in a sandbox of, let's call it the quote-unquote beta of the dreamscape. So, yeah. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. He suffers from the tea. Uh, just talking to you. Post disease boy. <laughs> yeah, he got T pose syndrome. Uh, you should have said, Tell me about the door. The nearest check in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule machine model. After screaming, the soldier collapses. He didn't even have time to earn a five star rating from you. What's up with that? And now the family's are trying to frame me? <laughs> I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. <laughs> so, nothing. Oh, thanks. Last thing you see is that I'm going to hear about it. Hilfar T-Posing. Yeah. 
Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. <laughs> Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty, well, I still need that stupid bird. I will get you one day, you stupid, stupid bird. So, uh... So, uh, what? Uh, what? Where is this thing? <clears throat> you gonna stream around the usual three armor? Probably either the three hour or four hour mark. Anyway. Oh, there's the corner. Oh look, the more tea posing. Oh, wait. The dice have been cast. All right, there we go. Or maybe I'll take it off. Blinding steel. <laughs> All right, I guess that's just a thing that's happening. So I was a bit. <laughs> that's a very random thing to. Ask. What? That's a thing. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's been. It's late at night where I am. If that answers the question. That is, that is some random things. Oh, oh great, he's dizzy. All right. Oh. What was that? Avengering? What was that? I thought you guys were connected together. We're doing this right now. <laughs> You're gonna follow me all the way around this part? Okay, turn around. Go away. Alright, let me get... Okay, we got that bird. I can grab this. Okay. Well, I can use that to get up to that stupid bird. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Well, you have Dr. Rachel there. I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell. I can hear you. Machine must be hidden somewhere. Let's get to get stack. <laughs> okay. Wait here, and I'll be back. Okay, then. He is cranky. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Uh, as you can tell, he's not having a fun day. Oh, right. 
I swear these rooms have been used so many times. It's like, okay. Let me... What? Wait a minute. Oh, for that. It's, what is happening? I'm literally just in a room. Okay, how about... Quack. I can't tell. I don't even know what's happening. I'm just drinking water. I'm asking questions. No more playing nice. Goodness. I have something for you. Okay, how about we retreat for a second? Then we go back. My goodness, I am. Why is it? Water? Yes, water. I can't open this. This is this way. Okay. Yep, there it is. Alright. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Nilly. Okay, run out of the room. Okay, we have that. Unscathed. Woohoo. Place the model in the sand pit. That is really tiny. Hmm. Oh boy. Thanks, Doc. Hmm. Okay, close. The path is blocked. How? Okay. What? So this is blocked, okay. What about activate, rotate, there we go. Activate. Activate, activate, rotate, and then rotate. Done. Okay. If you remember, some serious just graphics over fun. You should come in here and take a look. Okay, that's very and sometimes they fail at that. Alrighty then. Alright, so where do you go? Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of things. Rotate. Activate. Okay, so there's multiple spots I can go to. Just let me near the frickin' bird. I want the bird. Oh, nope, that's just death. Me and the machine! <laughs> Alright, uh, do this. <laughs> Whew! Okay, get in here. Uh, rotate, rotate, uh, rotate. Okay, what if I... Is that the only ways you can go? Okay, activate... 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 Oh. 
closed. So anyway, did you know that there's some shit that, is, that they come to... Okay, I think you're just trying to say something, huh? Goodness. Alright. Yes! The bird! I can get this! Oops. Oh! I get the stupid bird! How am I supposed to get the bird then? That's so annoying! Can you see me? Oh. Uh oh. So I made it, but I still can't click it. That's dumb. That's very, 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 very dumb. Um. <sighs> Birds have small bones. Yeah, but I can't freaking pick up the bird right now because it's like, oh, you're zero imagination. Couldn't get it when I was outside. So I don't know how it wants me to grab this if I've made it all the way up here. Strange disturbance, you can tell that whoever's made the internet is that fun and perhaps a little bit drunk. Okay. Wait, let me... Oh, there's a thing in the background. Perfect. Now I acquire this knowledge, don't I? Uh, just the logic that... Birds typically have bones. They should. Okay, you have a there's so there's hiding out a lamp post. Alright, I just I just want the stupid bird. I want to catch the stupid bird. Temporary corner. Use the bubble in the machine to reach the upper platform. So the ring is hiding in the lamppost. That plus funny. Oh. It's so annoying. And turn turn left the bubble machine goes attention. Use the bubble machine to upper platforms and the seventh origami bird is hidden on a lamppost. Okay. That doesn't tell me how I get it, which is very annoying. I just want an answer to how to get this bird. Uh, okay. Well, I can use this, but I'm gonna mute this. So I can just see where this, to get the stupid bird. Okay. They take the location, get over there. Alright. Uh, I just don't want to right now. Okay, you say investigate. Okay. Wait. So. Investigate. Okay. Now go over there. British friends we made along the way. <laughs> so then... What is that? Huh? Bridget, <laughs> what is happening? I don't understand. How this works. What do I look like over here? Oh, for Pete's sake, just go away. I clicked. The dice have been bust. I hate when stuff does that. Maybe I take <laughs> and no, I don't want to put her on my head today. She's just going to be on my shoulder. 
because that's what I decided to do for the day. I may put it on my head, on top of my head tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, joy. You're being so weird, of Adventurine, I swear. I like the shields. I'm gonna see the black shields. What? Okay. That is a very random thing. Oh, it quickly loses interest. Alright. Weird fact. I guess. What is with the noise? Alright. Hey. Uh, can we just go? Thank you. Oh, even better. <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Not that, just something I saw. Well, it's interesting to say the least. That's all I have to say on that. Ooh! Got that done. Okay. Now I can frickin'. I was not. It's with money. Yes. Yes, he does. He is a gambler. He be a gambler. Uh the very trade billboard. What does that mean? Okay, whatever. I guess yes. He is a gambler. So do I go back here? Okay. Like, huh? Like, am I supposed to realize something? Do something? Why is this so complicated and annoying? Ah! Whatever, I'll figure it out later. I'll stream. So it'll never end then. Alright. Like in my, there's a billboard up there. Like, what do you mean by billboard? Uh... If you feel you're a repetitive spit, like didn't you just make the game his? Yeah. There's people that just take a long time with making their game, and sometimes that's just how it is. Don't understand. It's so annoying. I can't believe I'm still trying to get this stupid bird. Yeah, about the Uh, mission. Okay. Mission can be unlocked by investigating the mass of feather in the sand pit. Okay, you must use the bullpen ball, okay? Drag the mass of feather into the area. How do you talk to him? Goodness, uh. I had to complete it. And quest can be unlocked by mouse, so feather in the sand. You must use the bubble machine earlier. Use early means to get to the area. I guess maybe it's a later thing. I guess we'll go. The, <laughs> the bird is the worm. 
No, I have not. Alright, let's just continue. I'll come back to it later. Because that seems... Uh, this foot. They love themselves puzzles. Toy City has come to an end. Makes me feel sad. isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll come back to this and deal with stupid bird. But whatever. Turn to the pavilion. Whee! We're free! Ready? Is this way. It's, there's a funny team flash in the call. Jim. Okay. Maybe. Out of the sand pit alive. Oh, thanks. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? As I will ever be. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people benefit. <laughs> Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. What made you figure that out? I not sincere enough. <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Yeah, we really don't know who committed these crimes. Um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? Well, that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's Aren't you I am lady? friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using okay. Using as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. What freedom do you need? I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Why aren't you a little bit crazy? The chance of winning is just beyond this door. Even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Right? Ah, the charming <laughs> audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Joy. This is going to go so well. Let me get that. <laughs> uh, I, I guess here we go. My puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. They are too difficult. And I see you. Is he smiling? Effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. Sorry. However, this is no way to greet. What? Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes. 
Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. What are you even on about? He faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent to the service and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeed. Uh, I hope you're not making like light of someone's like death, because that's not good. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Hey, you still smiling? Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening? Just deft. Okay. The weird subtext. Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know. You hold a different opinion. Now your noble son is shot, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry, I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine, since you're so selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty, <laughs> personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... Uh, the box in which we'll just the move out ...is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to life. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight. Okay. And always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No hmm. room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Well then. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip. Not a merchant. <laughs> I can give you your money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Alright, we're getting lots of random plot points happening right now. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? 
Under the light of the harmony, all truth is revealed. I implore them so the truth to you. light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. So you think he did it? And if I refuse to answer, you can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you have what is a cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted, to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Hmm. Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? <laughs> okay, that's a random question. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <sighs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Yeah, because you put him at a pinned point here, man. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Oh, good scene. <sighs> Please. What's happening? Look, why is wait what? Wait, is it gonna explode? What? Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> huh? System hours ago, do light pavilion. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. Okay. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must oh, so there is a Stellaron here? Besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Are you talking about the Stellaron that I have? What do you need from me? Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. <laughs> you don't have one. You confiscated his cornerstone. You can't expect a. Oh, so that's what he means by freedom. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. 
The cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them. Think is it their life? Their, their power? What is it? But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. Goodness, I guess we're just all the story heavy beats. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Well, so you betray your friend here to open the box. Thanks, buddy! <laughs> I appreciate it. Ooh! Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> so whose is it? The Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also <laughs> as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. This is Topaz's? So, do you wish to confront So Topaz has okay, so there's people that are named after stones have these stones. The location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. How did you know that? Did Venturine tell you? I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Adventure. Well, it just makes it style. easier to hide. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble. One he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single mistake. So he was trying to get his total loss. Cornerstone back. Okay. Victor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. Yeah, but what do you want with his cornerstone? <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Oh boy. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, seventeen system. We only have seventeen system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time. Are you saying he's going to die? Well, explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. Is this what the harmony represents? What is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> this has definitely been something. Mr. Aventurine, punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new 
beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You mm. only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. <laughs> you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Oh, boy. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. So either with your family or you just get immense pain before you die. Great. External perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. You're freaking conniving. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. <laughs> Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue. Not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. And that's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Adventure. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Okay, they just... Put a lot of information in front of our face. I don't know what this bird is for. It isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. Yeah, but then you're making him die in 17 hours. <laughs> By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. Survive without it. Well, so this is eventually. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. She started gambling things since he was a kid. Is also called Kakash. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty. 
poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. Okay. Swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad oh. went to the Catacombs land only to prepare for Gayathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gayathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. But the moment she closed her eyes, Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain for was Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, and how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Yeesh. No one they teleport us all the way. information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Okay, so we're trying to find out about Firefly. Is it possible to access these ra records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. It looks like nothing can be found here. At least it's not. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something <laughs> wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe <laughs> she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Yeah, she's completely fine. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Mm. Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The Garden of Recollection. Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Who are you guys? Uh, what? The Bravo oh. team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Bombs, get moving! <laughs> uh, armed evacuation? Boss, are you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. <laughs> Understood. Oh boy. Please 
Just big freaking gut. Situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family. <laughs> We're just talking about this in the lobby. Where anyone can hear. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. <laughs> Why not go and talk to them? I don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Am I free now? Okay. Finally. That was a very long cutscene. So, I think I'll end for the night. We have gotten a lot of information. And... I don't even know what to process right now. So, uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye!